Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I really need to come up with a new intro, but every time I say something else other than hey guys, welcome back to my channel, I sound weird because I don't know like how to introduce. Um, we'll, we'll figure something out, but not, not today. So before I get into this video, I'd just like to mention that I have another sponsorship. Oh my gosh, very happy. Teamy Teas is a green tea, healthy, brand that does teas, skincare, that kind of stuff. On the internet nowadays there's a lot of dodgy sites that like they say that they're going to make you skinny and they promote this idea that you're going to be healthy but really it's not a very healthy way of being skinny and the thing is that I like about this brand is that they're not constantly promoting being skinny all the time. Obviously that's one of the perks of drinking this tea but it's actually like full on just green tea that will help with bloating, just your overall health in general and obviously that is something that I really like anyway. I really like green tea anyway. So they gave me two um, packs of tea. This is the skinny tea, which is just basically normal green tea. Um, it tastes really nice. You drink this in the morning. And then the tea me colon, which is a colon tea, which if you don't know what colon tea is, <clears throat> makes you um, go doo doo. And you drink this every two days. And when I tell you this stuff works, I'm not lying, okay? Just just take my word for it. So yeah, and I also got sent one of these, which is their cups. They come in loads of different colours. My discount code is here. Definitely check that out because it is 25% off if you use my code. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got for my 17th birthday. Um, this part of the video, not the rest of it, but some part, this part that I am filming at the moment is going to be filmed on photo booth because I asked my mum to focus the camera and she said she focused it but I look like this and I don't know if you guys would even want to watch it that blurry like it's not even a little bit blurry it's incredibly blurry so I'm gonna say what I was going to say on this section of the video. I wanted to make this video a bit more raw. Now it's incredibly raw because I'm literally filming on my laptop with dreadful audio and dreadful quality. <laughs> you get the best from this channel. I'm going to be doing 17 things that I've learned whilst being 17. I feel like you guys will get to know a little bit more about me and things that I feel like I once struggled with and I've accepted or helped myself with in the past 17 years let's just get straight into it there's only two things that were blurry that I said in this massive video so I'm going to try and shorten it down because I've still got the points at my phone so we'll just talk about that on here the first thing that I've learned in the 17 years I've been alive is to accept your flaws you guys might even be like oh my gosh you have no flaws like you're just perfect no I have flaws, everyone has flaws. I mean, if they're not noticeable for you, they are for me, if that makes sense. And it's not all physical. I feel like people link flaws to everything just on the outside of what you can see. It's, for me, a lot of it is my mental state and the way I think. And I know they're a flaw because it, like, messes things up sometimes. So, obviously, a physical flaw would definitely be my boobs. I hate my boobs. Always have. They're really small. You can't see them. Um there we go you know can't really help that situation um so I've had to move on from that and realize that that's just my body I have to accept my body now I love myself obviously there's some times where I don't like myself but overall I'm happy and content with myself loving yourself is not being self-centered at all so just throwing out there things to do with my mental state would definitely be how I'm very sensitive and it can be with any situation I just feel like I react, not even react, it's just the way I feel on the inside that I get upset and I cry about things and I don't know, like I can't really stick up for myself um, in many situations. I've been able to in the past like year or so maybe say something but it's still not how I would like it to be like. I would like to be someone who'd be able to stick up for myself from people not were afraid of me but they just wouldn't mess with me. I wouldn't want people to feel like they can walk all over me like that's how kind of like how I am at the moment and because I am sensitive it affects me even more and like I'm not sensitive like you can't make a joke with me but I am sensitive in the way how I feel like one thing or the way someone treats me affects me for a while and it upsets me and like I've kind of realized that I can't change that and that's just going to be 
my life and obviously I can help it in certain ways but it will never go away it's literally a personality trait like I can't help being sensitive I can't help not having a backbone I don't really act on it I just like keep it to myself and that's another problem like Ellie would say this like I don't like talking about my feelings that is something that I really struggle to do like I don't like saying why I feel a certain way I'll tell her that I'm sad but then I don't like talking about it from the, that point on and I'll always say to her that like, I don't care anyway but I do care but I just say it because I don't want to talk about it because that's just how person I am so the second thing that I have learnt is friends should be like books few but hand selected and this is a very important thing that I have had to learn in my life because obviously as all teenagers know at one stage we all wanted so many friends we wanted to be the life of the party we wanted to walk through school and everyone be like oh my gosh hey Jessica hey Jennifer hey Sandra and you're like hey boo like walking down the corridor or whatever but then you realise most of them are fake anyways, most of them aren't down for you like you're down for them. Your friendship is just very fickle and it just revolves around popularity, or the fact that you don't want to be alone at lunch. Like It just gets to the point where it's not, like you feel it, you feel that your friends aren't real. And I'm not saying to drop your friends like so easily, but as you get older you do realise that, okay, maybe... I shouldn't surround myself by these people because when I leave a conversation with them do I feel good about myself or do I feel bad about myself and if it's bad about yourself then why are you hanging around with these people like I know it's difficult sometimes to cut friends off and I'm not saying cut them off like be really rude to them whatever but maybe distance yourself find some friends outside of school if you only have friends inside of school then it makes going into school not so bad if drama happens you're kind of distanced from it that's kind of like how I was people that just don't want to see you succeed and people even if they don't want to succeed themselves they are not people that you should be spending time with if you surround yourself by poverty-minded people you will become either in poverty or a poverty-minded person yourself or if you surround yourself with a millionaire or a person with a millionaire mindset, you will be yourself a millionaire or have a millionaire mindset. If you surround yourself with people that really want you to achieve and want to achieve themselves, you will benefit from that because they are going to help you in life and you're going to help them and you're going to bounce off of each other for ideas. You're going to feel that you can tell them things about things that you want to do. That you're going to feel closer to them because they're not fake. Like... I don't know because a lot of times fake friends are fake because either they hate themselves and they're projecting off of you or they're jealous but then again that always stems back to their self-confidence and how they don't feel good within themselves and they take it out on you. Obviously there are people that aren't confident in themselves and they are the nicest people in the world but some people are hurt. Hurt people hurt people a lot of the time so you have to be aware of those people, toxic people are not the people they want to be around you surround yourself with people that make you feel good and you make them feel good and you feel like you have a proper sisterhood like a support system i'm not saying cut off friends completely like you can have acquaintances you can hang out with people whatever but i mean friends friends like best friends like people that you can go to for advice you don't want to go to someone for advice if they really don't care about what you have to say they'll probably go back and tell sandra now that is the end of the things that i said in that blurry part um so yeah so that leads on to the next thing that i have learned which is you are who you surround yourself with this is literally something that has helped me cut off certain people not cut off in a rude way but distance myself from certain people make my friendship group smaller literally is you are who you surround yourself with and you may be like ellie that's just like an over exaggeration like i'm not if you surround yourself with people who have no ambitions who don't care about life don't support you and your goals who may be jealous or who may just have a mentality of not succeeding and who don't want to get something good out of life. People like that are people that you do not want to be around. Not only will it alter the way you think and the way that you carry yourself, it will also affect the way that other people see you. If they see you with someone who is naturally known to be one of these things or anything that you can think of in your head, you may be viewed as someone who is not a nice person. Even though I know that you are not and you know that you are not, in someone else's eyes, they will associate your friends with you. Your friends make you. Whether it's in your head or in someone else's, do not spend time with people who will stunt your mindset and that will kind of block your thinking of achieving. So the next thing is, is your mum is right about pretty much everything and I know I get on at her a lot 
but she has said this person I don't think she's a very good friend and I'm like oh I don't worry about it this boy I don't really trust him oh, I don't worry about it they're usually right they're gonna know things about you that you may not have picked up because even though that they may be old <laughs> they have gone through the teenager life as well they are ready to give you the things that they have learned in their life to stop you from doing the same thing this is like one of my favorite quotes is success is the best revenge literally I don't agree with revenge anyway because I feel like it's just a petty thing and I feel like just I don't know doing something spiteful towards someone is so immature and it's not needed but when it comes to things like success when you focus on yourself and focus on your goals it will hurt the people way more you're not gonna get any higher than that person if you're constantly looking down at them and you're trying to climb that ladder because you're looking down at them you're not gonna climb any higher so you might as well think about yourself climb higher by the time you get to the top and you win they're gonna be you know really mad about it it will be the best revenge on the people that have ever thought that you couldn't do it doesn't even have to be success in work or goals in life just literally success in the way you view yourself and literally when you glow up you glow up and people can see that when you are thinking about yourself when you're just genuinely not caring about people that bring you down and they will realize oh she's not the same person she used to be she's not even going to care about what i'm doing the next one is do anything how you do everything and this means as in if you try hard in something try hard in everything if you don't have that sort of discipline even if you're just at school now then you're probably not going to have it when you actually go to work or you do something that you are passionate about you do not need a boy to make you happy literally that sounds so dumb but there has been times where i have literally let a boy get the best of me i'm not saying don't get heartbroken because a few times in your life you're probably going to get heartbroken by a boy and you feel like your life is over blah blah but at the end of the day you were fine before them you're going to be fine without them once you love yourself in a way where you feel like you don't have to rely on others when certain people let you down it's not going to hurt as bad i'm not saying that you're not going to get any emotion from it but i'm saying that you're not going to feel like you have no one because you have yourself and that you love yourself because there's been many times where i've liked a boy because i didn't have that self-love within myself it really hurt because I was reliant upon them to give that to me to make me feel worthy it's okay to step out of your comfort zone and this is in anything you can imagine and I feel like I have learned this in many many ways and obviously the biggest most prominent one is definitely my YouTube I could never ever see myself doing YouTube three years ago and now that I'm doing it I'm like wow like imagine if I never did it that would be really weird because there is nothing that i enjoy more i don't think that i could ever quit youtube and feel good about it like i could quit even college and that sounds really bad but i could literally quit college and not feel as sad about quitting college and quitting youtube because i don't know if i've told you guys before the main goal of going to college for me is in case this doesn't work and that sounds really weird for some people because they may not see youtube as a good job but if I just rely on something that is easy, something that is very accessible, something that is not for me, and I only rely on college when I don't even know what I'm going to do with my A-levels, like I have no clue what I would do if I was only doing A-levels. I would completely lose myself. And the fact that I went out of my comfort zone and I did this YouTube, if I didn't, I really would not have a clue what I was going to do with my life. I'm hoping I can do a lot more out of YouTube, even films, like I'm up to acting, like I'm up to doing anything that will support my YouTube career, it's not just going to be all about YouTube but it stems from YouTube, YouTube is the seed and things that come out of it are the plants, are the flowers, I don't know, whatever, we're being metaphorical here, this one is a little progress each day adds up to big results and when I tell you I could scream this quote to you thousands and thousands of times, look at me, I did YouTube for a year and a half, coming up to two years, never really got that many big results, got a few videos that made, maybe made it to 5,000 views, got one video that made it to 14,000, a study with me, was over the moon about that really, but then that one video went viral, went did well, whatever you want to call it, and look at me now, literally all of that hard work paid off. This leads on to my next one which is don't quit, if I'm not even doing well, in what I'm doing right now, like I'm not succeeding, I'm not getting the results, I would have stopped, 
and I literally would not even be doing YouTube so I wouldn't have even got the results that I've got now. All the small things that you're doing now I promise you will add up. So this next one is work harder not smarter and I've seen this quote around but I never really got to grips with it because I was like doesn't working smarter just mean working harder but it really really doesn't. Like when I tell you when I was doing my GCSEs and I was doing especially science I did not have a clue how I was revising it didn't go in my head but I was just like well if I just you know copy down this whole textbook put some highlighters on it off we pot I will learn it no LED that's not how you should do it I wouldn't have passed if I just carried on copying down the textbook for ages so definitely work smarter not harder that is very important even with YouTube so the next one we've talked about pretty much um, work this whole way through succeeding everything don't get too stressed have a break and I know I've been talking about succeeding and all of this like working really hard and stuff you're just not going to do well in succeeding if you don't have a break if you're constantly thinking about work all the time if I was constantly thinking about YouTube or school and not ever hanging out with friends or having a break my video content would be absolutely rubbish you would see that I'd be tired in the videos second of all my work in school would plummet and the teacher would be able to see that I definitely did that on the bus on the way there don't put yourself on fire to keep others warm that ow 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 I hurt myself that is a very important quote that is extremely important and if that doesn't make sense to you that is literally when you're just thinking about others all the time to the point where you yourself is on fire you're burning you're dying you know inside you have nothing left so like you are constantly tired from trying to please everyone in life and that is a very very bad thing to do i'm not saying you have to be selfish all the time but a little bit of selfishness every now and then is a good thing because at the end of the day you need to think about yourself almost as much think about others you shouldn't do things with people just because it makes you feel good if it's going to have a negative impact on you if you feel like you're constantly trying to keep someone up whilst you yourself is not up there either you are going to feel like utter rubbish at the end of the day you're not a counsellor literally i feel like me being me because i'm a very nice person i used to get walked over all the time people use me for everything. When it gets to the point where I feel like I'm not even thinking about myself and I'm always thinking about other people, it doesn't balance and then I'm constantly trying to hold people up whilst I'm not holding myself up and then when I've held people up for so long I crash. So the next thing is don't listen to hate and this could come in any way shape or form whether it's on the internet, whether it's in school, any sort of hate just don't listen to it. If they don't know you personally, they shouldn't even be judging in the first place and you shouldn't even allow that to get to you because they don't know you. And even if they know you, they know you around school, they know of you, they don't know you. Only your close friends know you. And often, if people are hating on you constantly, you are doing something right. So, you know what, girl or boy? You are doing great, sweetie. Life is 10% of what happened to you and 90% of how you react to it. How you react to a situation is worse than the situation itself. Say if I fell out with a friend or they did something really mean to me. I am upset about it. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not going to make revenge or get angry at people, like carry it on, because at the end of the day, What's done is done. I can't change it. The only way you can really change a situation as much as possible is to be positive about it. Being negative about a situation is going to affect you in a bad way, you know? So obviously if you give revenge on that person, you're just going to get bad things out of it. But if you really brush it off, if you become a better person out of a situation that's happened to you, you will overall become better. So, yeah. So the last one is the cutest and nicest one that I left to last. So the 17th thing I have learnt at the age of 17 is to follow your dreams regardless of how big they are. I've had a dream of being a YouTuber for years. I feel like I've had this dream for so long and it's just such a crazy dream that I didn't think I could actually live it and I think that's why I held it off for so long because I was afraid that I wouldn't get it, if that makes sense. I didn't want to hype myself up and be like, yeah, I'm going to be a YouTuber and then not actually be a YouTuber. But I didn't do that and I actually did it and I ended up getting so much out of it. And I feel like you guys should all do that. Like, follow your dreams no matter how big they are, no matter how people react to when you say it. Like, I've had people 
be like you sure you want to be a youtuber like you know don't make you make it out there you know it's, it's a big platform like you know they're gonna do well sweetie but I didn't listen to them. Teachers go on about university all the time. All I'm hearing in my ear, right, left and centre, is university. That word is so irrelevant to me. You should never downplay something you are passionate about. And I know people like to drill in your head about how you should go to school and do this and this and follow how everyone does it, 9 to 5 job. I believe in purpose and I believe that everyone has a purpose in life. And if you are really passionate about something and that's all you can really think about, something that lights your fire, something that really gets you going, if that is something that you are passionate about, who am I, who is someone else, anyone to tell you that you cannot do it? Because that is probably your purpose. When you're like a teenager and there's something that you are really passionate about, don't just like say, oh, whatever, like I'm just, you know, going crazy. It's obviously in your head for a reason. Those are the things that I have learned in the 17 years of my life. There are a lot of things that I still need to work on within myself. I wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like I have matured immensely since I started YouTube. You guys may have not have seen it um, in my videos but within myself and the way I acted about situations the way I just was as a person was very immature and even though I was mature for my age looking back I was immature if that makes sense and I feel like every day I can work on myself to become a better person. I kind of wanted to get something very raw across to you guys rather than just this is what I got, this is a Pandora bracelet, like, oh my gosh, like, everyone just love me now. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel, like this video, comment down below anything you like, and I will see you guys next video.